right now. It's my great pleasure and honor to uh, introduce you to Han Haas Fellman, right? Yeah. How, Nan, Nan Haas Fellman and Henry Gates. Hello, sir. How are you? Yeah. Thank Hello. you very much for coming. You guys are from the Fenway mm -hmm. studios, yeah. Open Studios, which is the week after South Boston, right? Yes. Yep. It's yep. on the 12th and 13th. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you very much for coming in. I really do appreciate seeing you here. How long is the, uh, are you guys co-chairs? Are you guys? Oh, yeah, she's the well, lead chair. I'm, I'm, you, I'm sort of co-chair with uh, uh, Linda McNally, who is not an artist, but on the Friends of the Fenway. Okay. Which is an organization that helps us. That's great. That That's excellent. So, How long yeah. have you been doing open studios in the Fenway? Well, I've been in the studio myself for, I think, 12 years, and I've been co-chair for about eight of them. Okay, so, that's kind of so, cool. Yeah. Great. What's your medium? My, I have many mediums that I've used over the many, many years, but uh, mainly I would say I'm an oil painter. Okay. Uh, although I do mixed media and acrylics, but, but mainly oils. Great. And Henry, how about you? How long have you been uh, doing the Fenway thing? I'm the newest. I, uh, I've been there just, uh, this will be my third oh, great. studio. Oh, great. And, so and your young medium ones. is, what do you, what um, do, you do? What do you do? Paint and pastels. I've moved to oils. Okay. Oh, really? Went from pastels to oils? N yes. Yeah. You I had a, a whole patience? decade with pastels, <laughs> then had a decade with clay, and now okay. I'm in Fenway doing That's oils. <laughs> yeah, you know, oils have always been, you know, I, I love to work with them and stuff. I just want it to be done. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> they take so long I to dry. I have got the patience for them. There's a lot of turpentine. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of turpentine. I don't, that part doesn't bother me as much as, okay, I want to do something else on this oh, now, oh, you know, yeah. but I guess that's where the whole working on several pieces comes mm. in. Oh, yeah. Um, do you guys have, have, uh, have a public space where people are going to be showing much like uh, South Boston and some of these studios have come up with where there's going to be a group of artists in one spot? No, what, because the Fenway is, is really sort of a unique situation. Um, it was built in 1905 for the artists. It wasn't converted from any other building. So mm -hmm. um, it was uh, built as uh, live workspaces. Okay. And so uh, all the artists that are opening um, are opening up their semi sort of home studios. And um, so it's really the spaces that, that uh, many of us live in. And, and uh, some of us live in part time, some live in there full time, yeah. and uh, where we also work. So the people that will be coming will be seeing how we sort of live and work. And yeah, I uh, think that that's one of, one of the original concepts of open studios, like I was talking with Dan mm -hmm, and PT, mm -hmm. is that it, it's kind of like an opportunity for people to see your workspace. You know, you yes. come in and, and yes. there'll be some pieces might not be finished. There's that pile yeah. of stuff in the corner. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Show you know, it. And, and, the, and the work that, that you're, you're, you're displaying at the mm -hmm. time, you know, yeah. is, yes. is very important. And I, I think because um, each of the studios um, has a really a beautiful uh, space, we all have, you know, these 12 foot high windows, 14 foot high ceilings, oh, everybody in, this, in, in the building has that. So um, there's wonderful wall space and um, lots of room to be able to show a lot of work. So some of us will show a lot, some will show a little bit, but, um, uh, but each of us, of course, as in most uh, studios, uh, buildings are, are very different from each other. Yeah. And so that's mm -hmm. the beauty of it too, is to go around and visit and see um, where we work, how we work, right. and, and what kind of work we do. Are the mediums right across the board? I mean, is, are there people Almost. doing sculpture? Is there it was uh, formerly the Boston School, stuff? and so there was sort of a, well, an attempt to keep street, the right? old, yes. yeah. an, an yeah. attempt to really use the way it was designed, but the media changes and and everybody goes their own course. Right. Yes. But it, it is largely, I think, but it's, half it's of it's But it's mainly two-dimensional, and, and it, it doesn't really include photography. I mean, it's really drawing, painting, printmaking. Okay, yeah. so there's not strictly. a lot of kilns, it's strictly, or there's no, 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 no kiln no, in there it's and strictly, stuff? strictly, it, it's mostly all. painters. Yeah. yeah, it's all. Mostly that's painters. that. Well, that's that's great. That's that, that's 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 interesting. How many of the of, of there will how many studios? How many artists will be on display on the 13th? Yeah. Well, there's 12th, tw uh, 21 studios will be open. And um, so I think there's probably, I actually have it on the back here, but, but there there's go. four floors. So it, really there are a number in each, at least um, probably, you know, five, uh, five or more open on, on each floor. So people can, you know, if they time it right, they, you know, they, they spend a good amount of time there, they can probably get to you all 21. You can get 21. to all of them, all right? Yeah. I mean, like some of, some of these open studios have 80, 100. Yeah, you just yeah. can't get to everybody. Yeah, that would, that you would know. be difficult. So this is a nice day. 
Yes, and, it, and it'll be the two days, so the Saturday and the Sunday, November yeah. 12th and 13th. And um, so I think it's probably doable, whereas you're right, I, if there's many more artists, it would be, it would be hard to <laughs> yeah, be give justice to, you know, to each of them. This is very beautiful. Thank you. This is, this that's is a you. little one. Yeah, that's this a little one. This is you. No water is lonely water. Yeah, there's a whole series from um, uh, that I did. Uh, I teach many places in the world, so uh, that was from in Mexico. Well, this has a very Mexican pond. thing. Yeah. And actually, mm. that one is a sort of um, based on um, Aboriginal art, which is symbol based and um, but not representational in any way. So I made up my own symbol of um, vessels, it's and so it's beautiful. Was inspired by. Do you work on, on several pieces at once? Um, well, the way that I work is because I do everything in series. Yeah. Um, I sketch everything out, basically a piece of charcoal, kneaded eraser, and fix it. I, I will um, sketch out a whole, the idea for many, many works, and then, um, and then once I have the line sketch, that's all I need. I don't need a photograph or anything else. The color is all made up. The <laughs> patterns are made up, and um, so so I actually work on one at a time, but I might have 20 sketched out. <laughs> so. Yeah, so you do work on several pieces at a time. Yeah, so, it's, so the, the concept of it is, is ready to go. It's very beautiful. Um, did you bring some, uh, you brought some photos for us to... Yes, I... I, I for us to check I out did. these, these, these some of the artists that are going to be in open studios? Well, um, or they I was asked actually just this to bring a thumb drive. It's mine, actually. <laughs> oh, good. Yeah. So that yes. one is from China. Um, Again, I teach many places in the world. So, um, and when I come home, um, the following year, the year that follows, um, I concentrate on my inspiration from that location. Oh, nice. That's so, nice to, to have that opportunity. Yes, and it, yes, it is. And uh, that also is China. That was, uh, I teach at the Worcester Art Museum and the Danforth Museum and the Oceana Cruise Line. <laughs> so. <laughs> Um, that must be nice. Yes, it is nice. It is nice. Actually, that's my porch. <laughs> I don't have to go far. Really, my own house. To find something to paint, right? No, yeah, I, do, yeah, I do not. Yeah, I yeah. do not. I do not at all. Uh oh. And uh, that's actually made up, except for the little sculpture. <laughs> that's actually real. That's also China. Beautiful work. Thank you. So with it, um, and that's actually Italy. So, it, it, and that's actually also, so, so m much of it is, uh, other than the composition, is really made up. Right, that's colors. great, that's and great. So. Uh, um, Henry, do we yes. have any of your work here? Yes, I brought yes. Uh, three yeah. items. Yeah, um, let me see. The smallest of these is going to be um, the um, raffle. We have four oh, artists have that donate work, on. Yep, yep. and this is one of those. Do you know there's nails in the back of this? Uh, yes, yes. Do not sit mm -hmm. on this painting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. You'll be surprised. So there's a raffle. Yes. So you cats are raising mm -hmm. raising some funds for your organization by by raffling mm -hmm. off. They, what website can I go to get more information about that? That's well, all on Fenway.com. So, uh, uh, yeah. Well, FenwayStudios.org is the um, is this the is website. This beautiful. And then also it's it is publicized or advertised on the Friends of the Fenway Studios, and it's Friends of FenwayStudios.org. So we have two websites. One is the artist and one is um, the organization that um, is interested in architectural preservation of our building. We're always, all of our Bostonians are always interested in, uh, in that. What, what yeah. is this I'm, I've got here? I'm working sort of with a concept of uh, altar works, thinking that art can be shown as hidden and um, open. And so the, the gate is when it's closed, you get to see um, just essentially, you know, the the appearance or the invitation to look inside. Well, that's and pretty so interesting. I often use an Adam and Eve motif, but often comment a lot on um, art making and art materials. Yep. So I'm using uh, two uh, mannequins, you know, in terms of, mm -hmm. um, you know, creating an en entrance yeah, into yeah. that. Yeah, yeah artist, yeah. Uh, you know, wooden Those, uh, dolls. I got are 10 of them in formed. my classroom, I know. <laughs> yeah. I, I, it's, <laughs> It's, uh, it, they're, they're very noticeable and very understandable. Anybody that's taken any formal art education knows, knows those guys very well. My kids name them. 
Oh, oh yes, yes. yes. You know, <laughs> and if I don't pay attention, yeah. the little ones will color them. Ah. Yeah, right. <laughs> dip them in color. Dip them in colors, and some of them have faces and yeah. stuff. But oh. that that that's quite okay. Um, let's let's talk let's talk a little bit about uh, about what some people can people can expect. Is there going to be anything else going on? Like South Boston's might have a little bit of music happening. Uh, yes, maybe a little here. wine and cheese mm -hmm. or something. Yes, we well each of the studios will have, have their some, own little right, nosh right, thing. Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll each have uh, some some food uh, as people come in and visit. But and in, in the entranceway, I think we're going to have a harvest. Um, we did last year, and that's I great. think that's the plan again. And um, we have a welcome committee in the entrance when you come in, and, and they will give you a, give each person a map of the studios that are open, and direct you know direct them some starting at the top floor, some starting at the bottom, so people don't feel neglected. If yeah, right. <laughs> um, and everybody gets visitors, and um, so I'm just. Um, Hoping that people will, will come and show up and, and Oh, enjoy. people are going to come yeah. and show up. No worries about that. I mean, I'm sure it's been well attended in the Always past. Yes. 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 I know that it's one of the yes. premier open it's studios a, a in the city. I mean, it's, it's right in the heart. I mean, you've got the museums all around you. You've got a lot of college kids available for your area. Mm -hmm. There's always people down there in, in the Fenway in, yes. enjoying the Rose Gardens. I used to go there as a kid and all yes. the time. You know, it's a very beautiful part of the city. Yes. Uh, so I'm, I'm sure that there will be plenty of people Yes, and one of the and wonderful things about um, uh, the Fenway Studios, too, is that we're now part of the whole Fenway Cultural Alliance yeah. of uh, institutions promoting art. And yep. so it's, it, we've become, in the last few years, the Fenway Cultural, we, a cultural District, the Arts and Cultural District. Yes. And so I, the Fenway Studios is um, the only um, artist studio in that uh, cultural alliance, mm -hmm. along with all the museums and... and um, uh, other cultural institutions in that sort of rich area. Well, I want to thank you both. Oh, thank and I you. Want to, I want to wish you much luck. I'm sure that it's going thank to be you. fantastic. Can thank you let you us much. know how it how it worked out for you? Certainly. Because right. I'm, I'm sure that that um, a lot of people calling us and telling us how it worked out. I oh, don't think good. don't <laughs> think you have to worry too yeah. much too much about that. Now, listen, we're going to take a really quick quick short break. We'll be back in one second. Please don't go away. You're watching. It's all about arts. Okay. Great.